It's an issue that we as a caucus had talked about shared revenue right after the election and have been working on since. A lot of people behind me put a lot of work and time and effort in this. Just kind of want to go over the process we went through. As you remember, three weeks ago, we held a hearing with local government, which I'm chair of. Everybody on local government committee, including the Democrats, has local government experience. Um, we had six hours of hearing, 68 people testified, a majority, a large majority in favor of this bill. And um, to last week, we uh, exec the bill and um, it was is the amendment that we're discussing now was not ready because we've still been in negotiating. And I think they've been negotiating last night still. So we're ready to go. I will tell you though, from the mayor hat I wear, City of Dodgeville gets 158,000 currently in shared revenue out of an $8 million budget. I do not depend on shared revenue. When shared revenue was froze, we were at the low end and we sacrificed and made cuts as many municipalities around the state did, especially in the rural areas. I'm with this new package, my shared revenue is still going doubling. So about 300 and some thousand, which is still not much, but it's more. So I'm hearing from communities all across Wisconsin, we heard this at the hearing, even if they're getting $80,000 for a small community more, they were so thankful to see an increase. And I will tell you after five terms here, it's nice not to be able to deal with this every single budget and it's set up so we don't have to do any more and it's tied to the sales tax. So uh, this is a great bill.